Dogalak is ready to kick off. The Cowboys have Dwayne Thomas, number 33, and Mark Washington, number 46. Deep in the second half is underway. Washington, nine <laughs> yards deep. He almost had another one there. I think Dogalak's been taking Geritol or something. <laughs> he has really been bombing that ball. His field goals, by the way, which have accounted for all of New York scoring, 40 yards, 42 yards, and 54. He missed from 55. Dallas has scored on two bombs from Craig Morton to Bob Hayes, 38 and 80 yards, and a 28-yard field goal by Mike Clark. First and 10, Cowboys at the 20-yard line. Calvin Hill trying to get outside. Up to the 25. He was submarine by Spider Lockhart with Heck coming across. I'm sure that Tom Landry was working with his assistants and his players at halftime trying to generate his running game. We mentioned the Cowboys were number one in rushing in the National Conference, but they were having a tough time moving the ball on the ground in the first half, gaining only 30 yards. And their highlight, the highlight of their first half were two touchdown passes to Bob Hayes. That was about it. Dan Reeves has come into the ball game replacing Hill, who might have been shaken up on that play. Dwayne Thomas carrying to the 27. That'll set up a third and three for the Cowboys. Again, Heck, uh, number 55, and in the stop, along with Jim Knicky, number 73. And you hate to have a man like Calvin Hill on the sidelines when you have a third and two and a half or third and a three, as the situation is right now. But Calvin Hill is stretching his back. He looks to be okay. But he would be the man ordinarily who would get the call if Morton decides that he can run with this third and three. Wenzel to the left side, Hayes to the right. He's got Reeds and Dwayne Thomas in back of him. Thomas going to be close for the first down right at the 30-yard line. Jerry Shea on the bottom of the pile, number 75 for the Giants. And this one will be watched closely. Just going to be where they determined the momentum was and as you see coming up short by about a foot Ron Whitby will be forced to punch on fourth and one Giants with Bobby Duhon number 28 and Spider Lockhart number 43 deep Nice high spiral. Fair catch, Duhon at the 26 yard line. Fair catch. Let's check some scores for you. Well, as you see, Cincinnati is 23 to Buffalo's 14. They're at halftime. Bowman has kicked a, another field goal, 13 yards. Pittsburgh leading the Jets 14 to 3. Philadelphia now out in front of Miami, 17 to nothing at halftime. Our score 17 to 9, Dallas leading New York first and 10 in its first possession of the second half at its 27 yard line. Ron Johnson straight up the middle across the 30 to the 32. Showing some real power. Boy, he can go inside or outside effectively. St. Louis, who is tied with the Cowboys for the lead in the Eastern Division of the National Conference, out in front of Boston, 14 to nothing. MacArthur Lane on a 25-yard run. MacArthur Lane on a 14-yard run. And Kansas City over Houston, 7-3. They're in the first quarter. Those games, of course, starting a little later. Second and four. New York at its 32-yard line. Don Herman wide to the right side. McNeil split a couple of yards to the left. That's Ron Johnson in motion. Fredrickson getting the call, and he runs into a stone wall. Bob Lilly, number 74, is there for the Dallas Cowboys, along with Larry Cole and several others. Well, what do you think that field goal did as far as the Giants are concerned? Think that could have given them a boost right there at the half? Well, I certainly gave Pete Gogolak a boost. Those things help, though, when you can get on that scoreboard right at the end of the half and you don't think you're going to, and I'm sure that most of the Giants didn't feel that Pete could reach it that far. Third down, New York needs three for the first down. The ball is at the Giant 34. Well, it's 
see if there was a loose football. There was, and the Dallas Cowboys recovered at the 35-yard line. It looked like uh, either Chuck Howley or Bob Lilly, number 74. Lilly it was who made the fumble recovery at the 35, and that type of thing has really hurt the Giants this afternoon. It's twice now that Fredrickson has given up the football in the first quarter on a fumble. The Cowboys got a three-pointer, and they're very close to the three-point range right now. Calvin Hill is back in the ballgame. The pitch to Walt Garrison, who's also in there for the first time since being injured some three weeks ago. Garrison carries to the 29-yard line. A pickup of some five yards in the play. It'll be second and five. Minnesota, 13. The Washington Redskins, 7. Cox has kicked another field goal for the Vikings from 17 yards out. Look at this. New Orleans over Detroit. They're in the second quarter, 3 to nothing. Chicago, 13. San Francisco, 3. Second and five. Nose of the football just inside the New York 30. Calvin Hill has the first down at the 24-yard line of the New York Giants. Last year's NFL Rookie of the Year. He was injured early in the Kansas City game two weeks ago in the first series. And last week picked up just 10 yards and 10 carries against the Eagles. So his uh, production has uh, gone down somewhat. Of course, they've been using Dwayne Thomas so much more since he's done well. First and 10, Dallas at the Giant, 24, early in the third period. Garrison inside the 20, moving to the 17-yard line. Garrison suffered a knee injury several weeks ago, and uh, that seemed to have slowed him. Let's take a look at Garrison. He doesn't act as if anything is wrong with him. He takes a little hop step. Now watch him plant his foot, cut back, get away from Bob Lertzema, number 71. Get away from Jerry Shea. And finally, Lockhart drops Garrison on just about the 17-yard line of the Giants. Pickup of seven, second and three. Dallas from the New York 17. Ditka is in for Norman, the tight end. Garrison to the 15. Hazeltine, number 64, 73 is Jim Kanicki. 58, Jim Files. That'll set up third down and a long yard needed for the first down from the 15. And now Pettis Norman has come back in, and Ditka, who went to the sidelines, has come back in replacing Rensel. We would assume for additional blocking strength, get the bigger men in. There's Hayes in motion. Garrison thrown back at the line of scrimmage. I don't believe he made that first down. They needed a yard. He picked up maybe a half a yard at most. That'll be fourth down, and now the Cowboys will have to make a decision. This is middle linebacker Jim Files. At the bottom of that pile, Matt Hazeltine, 64, Fred Dreyer, 89. But Files was the man who was able to push Garrison back. And the field goal unit has come on for the Cowboys. Mike Clark has hit from 28 yards, missed from 32. This attempt with Reeves holding will be from the 22-yard line. Virtually no angle at all. It's good. The Dallas Cowboys 20, the New York Giants 9. We'll be back with the Cowboys kickoff in just a moment. These Giant fans whip... All right. 7.23 left in the third period, so we're just about midway in the third quarter. A shy at the eight-yard line. He almost lost it to the 20. Cracked at the 25 and to the 28-yard line. That thing just about slipped down and ran away from him. Right now, the Dallas Cowboy receivers and the giant, of course, punt catchers and kickoff returners are looking right into the sun. They look directly into it, and it could be that maybe Shy had a problem with it. The Giants will have a little bit of that problem in the fourth quarter before the sun goes all the way down. First and ten, New York at the Giants, 29. Harkenden, screen to Fredrickson, to the 30, 35. Fredrickson running hard to the 39. That's good for 10 yards, and should be just enough for the first down. Good blocking out in front of this. You'll see a perfect screen develop. 
Lefty pass rushes in a little bit and then wheel out. 63 is Van Horn, Greg Larson's 53, and watch Fredrickson cutting right behind them. Larson with a block to the inside, Van Horn with a block to the outside. First and 10, Giants at their 39-yard line. Tarkinen sending McNeil to the left side, Herman to the right. Johnson to the 43, Lilly number 74. Dave Edwards, number 52, making the stop. Pick up the three on the play. It'll be second and seven. Ron Knight has hit a 24-yard field goal for the Redskins. Minnesota now 13, uh, Washington 10. It's quite a football game they have going. Our score, Dallas 20, New York 9. 5.50 left to play in the third period. The New York Giants, second and seven from their 43. Again, Johnson, 45, 50, 45, down to the 40 to the 38-yard line before Charlie Waters made the stop. Really put the move on Herb Adderley. The draw play, and watch Johnson. He puts a move on one of the Cowboys. We'll try and pick him up as he breaks now to the outside. One of the Cowboy defensive backs come up, comes up right here. Now look at this little shift there. I believe it was Herb Adderley, but <laughs> you don't see many backs making moves like that. So the Giants with a first down at the Dallas 38-yard line and 63,000 fans come alive again at Yankee Stadium. That's Johnson inside the 30 to the 26-yard line. 12 yards, another New York first down. Oh, Giants offensive line opening a big hole right in the middle. The cross block, Van Horn with a good block on 55. Leroy Jordan and then Johnson breaks to the outside. Had Herman but come across number 85 and got in front of that, Johnson possibly could have broken all the way. Johnson now has 81 yards rushing and 13 carries. The Giants have a first down at the Dallas 26. Fredrickson to the 23. Lilly number 74, Pugh number 75 making the stop. It'll be second and seven. It's going to be important, isn't it, Giff, for the uh, Giants to put a touchdown up there. This uh, getting behind it, adding on just three points a little bit at a time uh, doesn't normally do it. Well, as we were talking a moment ago during a commercial, three points just won't do it. You have got to get on the scoreboard, and they need it rather quickly. New York at the Dallas 23. Stack high. Morrison in motion. Johnson. Looking for some place to go. He found the hole and moved it to the 15-yard line. That'll be close for another first down. Ron Johnson again. He couldn't find the hole where it belonged, so he just picked up one on the inside. Now watch him cut right back. Leroy Jordan, 55, overruns it. Johnson is able to cut back and move very close to another first down. And the measurements will indicate that it is a first down. New York at the 16 of Dallas and on the move late in the third period. According to our unofficial statistics, the Giants have 12 first downs and the Cowboys just have five. Sliding off Lilly, but Lilly hung on until the reinforcements arrived. Johnson still picked up four yards, perhaps five, to the 11-yard line. And the sledding is going to get a little tougher now as the Giants move closer to that goal line. The Giant Cowboy defense, of course, will start to tighten. They'll start to move inside, and the defensive secondary will come up closer because they have the back of the end zone helping them, working for them. It'll be a little tougher to run here. I'm sure Tarkenton is aware of that. Officials mark it at the 12. Again, Johnson. Carrying half the Dallas team to the six-yard line. And he'll be close for another first down. Johnson again. Again, the draw play. 
Get through a few, got to the inside, recovered. And there are those backs we were telling you about that are up closer. Leroy Jordan doing the principal job on Johnson as Johnson comes up about, well, make it a three quarters of a yard short of the first down. Third down, less than a yard for the first down. Dallas digging in. Giants at the six and a half yard line. The fake to Johnson, parking them. Hitting Fredrickson, he's got the first down at the five. I think Fredrickson probably is still a little hot about the two fumbles. And Cornell Green was right there. Charlie Waters come out, uh, comes out, and Tom Stinsick, number 56, goes in to join the uh, goal line unit. New York with a first down, now at the four-yard line. Johnson. He's down to the goal line. He's over. Well, it, this is Ron Johnson's touchdown all the way. Here it is again. Second and third effort. He's hit by Howley. Spins loose. And just does get into the end zone. And it's a different kind of football game now, Frank Weaver. That makes it 20 to 15 with the extra point to come. Dogalak will try it. Shiner will hold. And fasten your safety belts. We're going to be in for quite a finish here. A minute 40 left to play in the third period. Dallas 20, New York 16. We'll be back with the Giants kickoff in just a moment. You explained it, Frank. Let's take a look at it again. The ball has to travel 10 yards. And the ruling is it is a free ball. You cannot advance it. That was the uh, hassle. You cannot run this football. You can recover it. And, of course, this is for not here. You cannot advance it. It's like a recovering a lateral. It was exciting for 63,000 fans and upset a few Giants because they thought they'd been called for a penalty. So the Giants take over, having recovered the onside kick and have a first down at the Dallas 48, and this crowd is going mad. Fredrickson to the 45, collared by Chuck Howley, number 54. We pause five seconds for station identification. That's got to be one of the most perfectly executed onside kicks. Looked like the Cowboys were caught completely napping. They had no one near the ball. Well, Pete Gogolak hasn't done anything wrong all day, and that was absolutely beautiful. It traveled the required 10 yards and then took a spin, almost like it hit a 9-iron, and popped right into the hands of Joe Green. Second and six from the Dallas 44. Johnson to the 40, to the 35. Cornell Green, number 34, Adderley, number 26. Let's watch Ron Johnson with the isolated camera. He gets a great block from 61, Charlie Harper. Perhaps you'll see it. There it is, Harper burying Leroy Jordan. Johnson spinning back. Cornell Green's there, along with Charlie Waters, but another Ron Johnson first down. The clock ticking away the final seconds of the third quarter. There's the gun. That's the end of the third quarter with the score. Dallas 20, New York 16. Let's pause for a moment. This was Watts. Into the final period we go at Yankee Stadium. Dallas leading by four, but the Giants are on the move with a first down at the Dallas 35, and there's no doubt where the momentum is right now. It has shifted to the New York Giants. Johnson to the 32 for a pickup of three yards. Johnson now is 112 yards rushing in 18 carries. That was really well played by Leroy Jordan. And Leroy Jordan is down on the field. 
and he's been shaken up. There is the fine middle linebacker for the Cowboys. He met Johnson head on on that last play, and he would be quite a loss. He calls the defensive signals. He's had an interesting year, injury-wise, as it's been. Right along has the Frank. Next Sunday, immediately preceding the NFL game in your area, see the 30-minute pregame program, the NFL Today. You'll see a preview of the day's games on CBS, a feature on one of the most exciting runners in the history of pro football, Buddy Young, and an unusual feature on what it takes to move a team for each week's game. Talking about Leroy Jordan, he's hard to get out of that lineup because he played against the Minnesota Vikings with a knee injury where he could hardly walk before the game, and so you have to believe he's hurt when he comes out of a football game. <laughs> His replacement is Tom Stinson, number 56. Second and seven, New York from the 32 of Dallas. Johnson, 30, 25, 20. Johnson with a 15-yard line, caught by Adderley. First and 10, New York. On Johnson again. Following a great block by Tucker Fredrickson. Watch 24 on Cornell Green. Johnson hitting the gap and only a beautiful tackle by Herb Adderley saved the giant touchdown. And I'm sure Tom Landry's looking on and wondering what has happened to his defensive unit. One thing the Cowboys have never been able to do is run on them. Nose of the ball just inside the 15. First and 10 Giants. Johnson to the 13 to the 12-yard line. That is his 21st carry of the day. And he is over 130 yards now in rushing. He had a game earlier in the season against Philadelphia where he gained over 140 yards. And he had an 80-yard touchdown run called back in that game. Leroy Jordan is in there at middle linebacker for the Cowboys despite uh, being shaken up a moment ago. Hip Johnson two on that last play. Call it second and eight. New York at the 13 of Dallas. Parkinson, flag is thrown. He's to the five and torn down at the three-yard line. A penalty marker was thrown on about the goal line. Two flags are down. We're waiting for the official call. It could be offensive interference. Or it could be defensive interference but because the flags were downfield. Apparently, it was against the Cowboys. And most certainly will be declined as the Giants come up with a first and goal on the Cowboys' three and a half yard line. Stinsick again comes into the Cowboy lineup for the goal line stand. And McNeil comes out, and Aaron Thomas comes in at tight end to beef up the Giants blocking. yard line following the penalty against Dallas. Johnson. No gain that time. Stimson came across uh, number 56 along with Jordan number 55. If anything a loss of a half yard on that play back to the two. It'll be second and goal. Speculating, should the Giants get in, they will lead by 23 to 20. And the Cowboys will have that prevailing breeze behind them. Maybe we better not speculate. Parkinson, faced by Renfro and Mel Renfro up from the secondary, lowered the boom on him back at the 13, coming on like a sprinter. So Tarkenton trying to fool the defense with the play fake. He'll fake the ball right here to Ron Johnson. Now he's rolling to the right. He wants to go to Tucker Fredrickson. And here comes Larry Cole. He was the man that put the pressure on Tarkenton. Wouldn't let him throw the ball. And then Renfro was there to wipe him out. Now it's third and 13. The Giants bring out their other tight end and put Clifton McNeil back in. The obvious pass coming up. 11 minutes and 45 seconds left to play in the ball game. Third and goal for the Giants from the 13th. Parkinson 
again, this time hit by Lilly, number 74. And Tarkin is dropped at the 22. And a test of a good football team. The Giants had first and goal from the three, and now the Giants have been moved all the way back to the 25. Cole again pressuring. Lilly breaking from his block in the middle, and he nails Tarkington hard. Well, after what Gogolak is done, this should be just a chip shot for him from the 29-yard line. He's hit from 40, 42, and 54. Shiner puts it down at the 29. And it is no good. Too close. Off to the left. Let's pause for station identification with the score. Dallas 20, New York 16. Tom Jones teams up with Glenn Kennedy. There's a cowboy bench and some kind of huddle going on uh, over there. They may be gathered around. That's a defensive unit as the offense takes over at the 20 yard line. End around. Here's Hayes. Flag is thrown and Hayes is going to be stopped behind the line at the 16 for a loss of four. And you almost have to speculate there's going to be some kind of offensive uh, infraction. A ball thrown right at the line of scrimmage, either a clip or perhaps a holding call. We'll wait for the official call and then maybe take a look at that play again. The end around to Bob Hayes, and he came dangerously close to breaking. Cowboys need a big play right now to kind of cool off the Giants' momentum. Half the distance to the goal from the spot of the foul moves it back to the eight, holding. Here Seven. it is now. There you see uh, Pettis Norman grabbing and Ralph Heck. I'm sure that was the call. It is first and 22 from the eight yard line. Alvin Hill on the sweep gets to the 10 and he is shot back hard. 55, Ralph Heck. And he does some job, number 55, Ralph Heck. That's Garrison trying to block him. He gets rid of the block at 32, Garrison, and boom, he catches Calvin Hill, who likes to jump right in midair. Pick up a four yards in the play. It'll be second and 18. The ball now at the Dallas 12-yard line. Garrison on the draw out to the 20, up to the 25-yard line, and Garrison is just five yards away from the first down. It'll be third and five. As Dallas gives itself a little breathing space. Let's take a look at Dreyer. He goes to the inside this time. And he's picked up by number 61, Blaine Nye. You have to control Dreyer on pass or run because he just pursues constantly. Third and five from the 25, Pettis Norman. Incompleted forward pass. Well, the official was right on it. Lockhart didn't argue, so you have to assume it was trapped. Knowing Carl Lockhart, had he caught that ball, <laughs> he would have let the official know about it. That, of course, was a big play for the Dallas Cowboys as they uh, tried to keep that drive going and try to cool off this great giant momentum which has been generated here in the second half. Whitby will punt on fourth and five. Duhon and Lockhart are deep. Fair catch by Lockhart at the 35 of New York. And the Giants will put the ball in play from there. Well, this has been some exciting football game so far. More to come with the score. Dallas 20, New York 16. Let's Hydrickson. Up to the 37-yard line for a pickup of two. He is caught there by uh, George Andre, number 66. Watch number 61, Charlie Harper. This is the trap play. And he takes on Larry Cole. Fredrickson cutting behind that block. And 
Andre's pursuit. Stops Tucker after gain of just a little over a yard. Second and nine. New York from its 36. McNeil at the 40-yard line, out of bounds at the 41. That'll set up third and four. Now the Cowboy defense had an interesting discussion during the last uh, offensive possession over on the sidelines. They were huddled around probably trying to figure out what to do with Ron Johnson. I tell you, that's usually what happens out of those discussions. What's happening? <laughs> Minnesota 16, Washington 10. They're still in tight end. Donnie broke down there. Detroit now leads going to 7-6, and they're having a hit battle on their hands at halftime. They play for the Giants on third and four from their 40. Johnson in motion. Fredrickson. Nowhere. Andre number 66. And Jordan number 55. And I'm sure that time talking and figure that the Cowboys will be looking for Johnson. Loss of a yard on the play. Fourth and five. And what the Dallas offense hasn't been able to do, the Dallas defense uh, has been in terms of slowing down this great momentum generated by the Giants. Bill Johnson to punt. Hayes and Renfro deep. Fair catch. Hayes at the 29. And Dallas will go to the offense from that point. With the score, Dallas 20, New York 16. Let's pause for a moment. What can one man do, my friend? What can one man do to fight pollution in the air that's closing in from everywhere? If a guy cares about kids, he's got to care about pollution. The only anti-pollution gasoline that makes sense to me is one with no lead at all. None. And Amoco's the only one that comes in two lead-free grades. One for the big engine of our wagon. Used it for years. And this new one for the little engine in my wife Betty's car. It's a family affair. First and ten, Dallas Cowboys from their 29-yard line. Garrison and Hill, the setbacks. Walt Garrison picking his hole. And moving out to the 36, Parker, number 26, was over there for the Giants, along with Lockhart, number 43, and Heck, number 55. Cincinnati... Now running away from Buffalo, 33 to 14. Royce Berry on a six-yard touchdown run, the last touchdown for Cincinnati. Pickup of seven by Garrison, second and three. Cowboys are at their 36. Garrison it is again, fighting for the first down, and he'll be close for it at the 39-yard line. Lockhart, 43, Longo, 44. These statistics are something else. We've got the Giants with 16 first downs and the Cowboys with five. Of course, the Cowboys leading 20 to 16, but you have to remember that Bob Hayes caught an 80-yard touchdown pass and a 38-yard touchdown pass. Those have been the big plays for Dallas. Those have been the plays, really, offensively. And the measurement indicates the Dallas Cowboys have picked up a first down at the Dallas 39. We'll watch that clock closely for you as it becomes a factor. Seven minutes and 42 seconds remaining in the game. Morton sending Hayes to the right side and Renssel to the left. Garrison to the 45. Garrison to the 50. And a first down at the 48-yard line of the Giants. Garrison picking up 12 yards. And I guess really there's no substitute for experience as he fills in now for Dwayne Thomas and trying to get his job back. He's running as though he was never injured and running well. The big thing at this point is the Cowboys now have got their composure back. And another thing, too, they're giving their defensive unit, which played almost the entire third quarter, a chance to get a breather on the sidelines. 
First and ten from the 48 of New York. Calvin Hill to the 46-yard <laughs> line. Boy, I don't know. You keep thinking he's going to get just busted in two one of these days. But he takes a gets himself in a pretty good position to have that happen to him. Calvin Hill, he just runs reckless. There he goes up in the air. Nyland out in front of it, and he gets hit <laughs> by Jerry Shea, and then Lockhart gave him a little shot coming up in his safety position. Call it second and nine from the New York 46. Garrison far and away, the Dallas leading rusher. Eight carries, 51 yards. Flag. Pettis Norman, the tight end, makes the catch at the 30, but we had a penalty marker thrown at the line of scrimmage. And the preliminary indication was illegal procedure on the part of the Cowboys, and that'll bring that... Well, I would say it's kind of a crucial catch by Norman back. Five yards being marched off against Dallas, moving the ball back into Dallas territory to the 49-yard lines. And there's the indication from the referee, Bob Finley, illegal motion against the Cowboys. Second. It is now second and 14. That is wide open as Pettis Norman was. It would be a bad play to come back with. He puts him on the same side. Rensel flanked to the right. Pettis Norman lined up tight to the right. And he is to the left. Good protection for Morton. Jim Files, number 58, had a hand on. It was intended for Hayes at about the giant 40. John boys have been doing a pretty good job on Fred Dreyer. You see the switch there. Kanicki going to the outside, Dreyer coming to the inside. It didn't fool anyone. Dave Manders came over from his center position. Dallas sends in Reggie Rucker, number 88, replacing uh, Pettis Norman. So the Cowboys now have three wide receivers in Hayes, in Russell, and in Rucker for this third and 14 play coming up from the Dallas 49. Hayes and Russell both to the right side, the bottom of your screen. Good protection again for Morton momentarily, but it broke down as you saw. He took a little bit too much time. It looked like Shea, 75, busted through and made a big play for the Giants, dropping Morton at the 41. On this Giant defensive unit, there's another player. Jerry Shea was not expected to play, and he just made a very key play for the Giants' defense with five minutes and 50 seconds remaining. They're going to get the football back. And if there's to be a hero today, along with Bob Hayes, it's this man right here. He would be. He has been kicking great. He's had a lot of practice. Fine kick by Whitby. Duhon at the 15 to the 20, 25, and caught by Mark Washington at the 26-yard line. With the score, Dallas 20, New York 16. Let's pause for a moment. Six seconds left to play in the football game. New York Giants, first and ten. From their 27-yard line. And Carpenter. McNeil at the 45 to the 50. Charlie Waters out of bounds at the 41 of Dallas. Clifton McNeil was wide open. Herb Adderley passing him on in some kind of a zone formation. Somebody didn't pick him up. We'd have to speculate it was Charlie Waters, who is in hot pursuit here. So in one play, the Giants have moved back into Dallas territory. Clifton McNeil, one of those trades that we were talking about earlier, two years ago, he led the National Football League in reception to 73. That play covered 32 yards, and the Giants have a first down at the Dallas 41. Ron Johnson to the 39. Howley, number 54, making the stop. Johnson with 132 yards, rushing in 23 carries. 
That's still not his high for the year. He had the big game against Philadelphia. I believe he had 142. 142. We mentioned that a moment ago as we looked at Alex Webster, who has eaten a carton of Tums and gone through a pack of cigarettes today, I believe. He takes it serious. Second and eight. For McNeil. Well, Tarkin and let that one go with a prayer on it, I think. Now Renfro was right with McNeil. That would have had to have been an absolutely perfectly thrown football for Renfro not to break it up. There's Francis chopping on his gum. Four minutes and 40 seconds remain. The Giants with their three timeouts and the Cowboys with their three timeouts remaining. Tough spot for the Giants here. They have a third and eight coming up from the Dallas 39. They trail by four points, 20 to 16. It's tough because it allows the Dallas front four to disregard run and just come on in. They're hard to keep out when they let it go. Harkenden to Johnson to the 25, to the 20, to the 16-yard line. First down, New York. Well, that's the danger of Tarkenton. The Cowboys, when they see him scramble around, they know that he can run. This time he teased them a little bit. Whoever was covering Johnson, I believe Howley, had to let him go. You see, 54, didn't know whether Tarkenton was going to run. When he came up to stop the run, Tarkenton dumped it to Johnson, who pulls his way down to, well, make it the 17-yard line. 